So the Heim Solomon Center, as you had stated, were a news and public policy organization. But we focus on issues that are largely ignored by the mainstream or the legacy press. And we have a heavy concentration on defending Western civilization, the ideas of liberal democracies. And we have a very specialized emphasis on combating anti-Semitism, getting the truth about issues in the Middle East, mainly Israel, atrocities that are now taking place at the hand of Islamic extremism. There's so many things that while you may see the words and the names in the press, you're not getting the full story and you're not getting all of the story. And there's some stories you're just not getting at all. And that's where we come in. And while there's a lot of groups out there that do wonderful work, whether it's promoting the ideas of American values or whether it's combating anti-Semitism, standing up for Israel or the United States, they tend to preach more to a choir. So what makes us unique and different is that we get our stories and our opinions and even just general news stories in front of larger, more diverse audiences. You're going to find our work all the time in publications like The Hill or the New York Observer, the New York Daily News we have been in quite a bit in the past year. We've been in USA Today. We've been in the New York Post. We've been in a lot of local big papers, whether it's the San Francisco Chronicle or referenced in the Chicago Tribune. This is who we are. We are trying to get the message of Western civilization and how it's being under attack and how so many people... Are are pushing and doing the blaming on Jews and causing, you know, we see anti-Semitism growing. We see anti-American sentiment growing. A lot of this, sadly, is coming from the hardcore progressive left who has decided that they just do not like the United States and they don't like anything associated with the United States. And often Israel falls under that tent. So that's where we come in. We're trying to educate the public And not just folks who may already be pro-Israel or pro-America. We're trying to educate people who are apathetic or just don't know. And and if we can change minds, that's even better. But that is who we are in a large nutshell. We're talking with Paul Miller, President and Executive Director of the Chaim Solomon Center, a new public policy group. How do you differ from, let's say, Stand With Us, the Israel Project, APAC, EMET, Honest reporting, these are all pro-Israel, pro-Jewish groups. How do you differentiate yourself from them if you do? Well, first of all, you just named a bunch of excellent organizations and organizations that some of them we work with extensively. What they tend to do is they're more truly activism. Honest reporting, obviously, is a journalism organization. Amazing stories that they do produce. What makes us different is we'll often work with a group or we'll end up looking at the work of a stand with us, for example, and how they're combating the anti-Semitic BDS movement, the boycott, divestment, sanctions movement on campuses, and we'll write the stories of their work. We'll get it out to a larger audience. It's not going to be in just a Jewish publication. It could be in a publication that is national or international. And that's where we come in. We take a lot of the work that these groups do and we get them in front of larger and bigger audiences. And, you know, a group like Honest Reporting, they may have a great story that everyone's missed. Well, we'll come in and we'll cite them and we'll put it in a larger publication. So it's very important that people know that we don't regard these organizations as competition, just the opposite. We regard them as people on the front lines, organizations that are really doing amazing work, and their amazing work benefits because we help get their work out to, again, larger and more diverse audiences. They may publish more to groups that are already pro-Israel or you know, advocacies of the Jewish state, religious communities. We take it even a step further by getting in front of that larger group. By the way, when I asked him the question, I specifically put it in the context of cultural rather than political because the culture is changing from what Chaim Solomon understood the culture of this country to be, as is the interpretation of the Constitution by some. Uh, so I just throw that out there. So uh, given that, yes. 
Who do you want to advocate for? Is it pro-Jewish and pro-Israel? And if it is, who is your target audience? And what do you hope to accomplish by the work that you're doing? Well, you know, when we first started out about 20 months ago, it was the pro-Israel cause and the Jewish community was kind of our niche. And it still is extremely important to us. We put a lot of emphasis on supporting the Jewish state and combating anti-Semitism. What we've expanded on is really the threats that posed against, whether it's the Jewish state or the Jewish people, they really expand to everyone who believes in the ideals of Western culture, of Western civilization.